Hello everyone, this is your man Hotman. Welcome back to my channel. This time we're doing a review on another Black Panther figure. I just picked this figure up today from my local Target. By lucky, I played the long game on this one. Well, the original price of this figure, I think it was going for $22.23. And I said, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. Now, I know... The Black Panther movie has been out for quite some time, but it sometimes is good. Oh, Sorry about that guy. Sometimes it's good to play the long game. The reason why? The reason why so is because I picked up this Black Panther figure. I don't think I'm saying the name correctly, but I picked this one up for and remove my sign out the way. I know you're probably tired looking at that. Um, Ikoya? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I know I should have got my um my stand. I normally put it on, but um, I should have. I played a long game on this one, and guess how much I got it for? There's the name right there. Guess how much I got it for? I got this figure right here in store. Let me get the receipt. For twelve dollars and forty-nine cents. Now, now before we get to into the review, I said, well, let me stop at GameStop for a second. And see what they got. You know, everybody's putting stuff in clearance. New stuff is coming out. We're in the new year. You get it. So I said, I want to get now. Now, while I was in Target, I said, well, still got to eat. Toy hunting is, 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 is making you hungry. So I went to GameStop. No, I went, I, I, went to, I went to Target. Excuse me. I went to Target. So I went and got myself some chicken strips. The ones I got are good. And I'll show you the package at the end of the video. The ones that I, I did get, so people in, in the United States watching this video you might want to get them. You might can also get them overseas. I don't know. So I got the chicken strips. And also, I don't want to tell you what else I got because that will also be pieced on at, at the end of the video. What else I got? And, and, and pictures. And I only spent all together, on all three of them things, $25.23. Now, right here in the United States... That's actually cheaper than 36 eggs. I'm not lying. In Walmart. A, a, a 36 eggs in Walmart. In Walmart right now. At this moment in time. As I'm talking to you. Give me a do review. And I'm shooting a brief with y'all guys. Is. Drum roll please. Everybody sit down. J Doll sit down. Please sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Matter of fact, I hope you don't even have your smart dolls or, or your Barbie dolls in your hand or anything else in your hand at this moment in time when, when I get ready to say. Now, I do a little, I do, I do a bit of shopping. Like I said, you gotta eat. Hunting is not, it takes a lot of energy. So I said, well, I had maybe about, I got more, I have more than that, but I try to keep myself on a budget. How much I want to spend? <sighs> Thirty-six A's, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, and my Walmart are twenty-five dollars. A twelve thing of eggs in my and, I, and these are mediums, my friends. Medium, that ain't large. They're mediums, they're little duckies, little birdie birds. Take three eggs and make one. Um, a twelve set of eggs are fourteen and change. If they were in the right spot, I don't know. They probably went in the right spot. Uh, six packs of eggs that I first st started working at, at this woman that I'm working at right now was 50 cents. Now, they are now $2.98. I had a gentleman come up to me and said, why are you raising prices? I said, sir, I ain't raising prices. I'm, I'm huffing and puffing just like you on the, on the price of, 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 of food. I said, if I didn't have my discount card, I wouldn't even got them. And I didn't even say that much. I probably got equivalents of maybe like six items and I spent over 40 bucks. So today, 
I pick up these three items. And I didn't think I did bad. I got everything that I want for $25.23. That's actually still about cheaper than $36.80. Ain't that crazy? Out of Target. I want the game style to see what else that I can maybe pick up something else to maybe show y'all guys in the haul video or something like that. I left it there. They had a three quarter inch, nice articulated black series figure. Marked down. Everything that in, in GameStop is marked down. They always had the, the yellow sticker on there, the yellow type sticker on there. Three quarter inch figure. I know it comes from the Mandalorian um, wave. They wanted $27 for it. You know what I did? I left it there. I got my car. Thank God I got insurance because I probably ran into something. And I left it there and came home and ate my chicken strips. And I came here, did my review, and I paid my rent. So I'm going to cut away. We're going to open up this figure. And we're going to see what this figure is all about. So everybody can sit down. Get your, uh, uh, your hand off your chest. And then we're going to see what this figure is about. So I'll be right back, guys. Don't go nowhere. All right, guys. I'm back. I got everything out of the packaging. Warning. When you do go through these packagings right here, it's going to be three of these bags. Make sure you got all your pieces out. I never out threw this away because that's the piece you're going to be looking for. It will be inside with the spear. So make sure you get all your, um, your both of your spears. And it does says on the packaging, and it will say um, right there, it says plus, the plus with the spear. It does say that, and you do, and remember, this is also a builder figure. I do have the head. Um, I already put the head on. I will show that um, figure off eventually when I get it all together. If I keep on getting these, you know, these figures like that. So you do get the spear. It's not painted, but you do get it. Um, it's a very soft, pliable plastic, both pieces, so it's not going to hurt you. I wish it did have some paint on it, but it's molded in the gray. And this box part is also um, molded in the gray. So those are the accessories. It's kind of weak on accessories, but playing the long game, I don't think it's bad. I wish she did came in changeable hands. You know, maybe even a, a different head scope. Um, but here she go, right here. Out of the packaging, I really love. I really love this figure. This sometimes to some people, if you want to, but when the first the first Black Panther movie came out, a lot of people was army building these because you know there was a whole bunch of them because they're warriors to help the tech, uh, Natala and the um, and uh, and um, and the Black Panther movie. So you do get that. Um, but I did want this figure for quite some time. I wanted ever since the first movie, but I never really got the chance and it was really hard for me to get. So I'm lucky that they reissued this figure so I could took a chance to really get it. Um, I like how the figure really came out. Um, I love the paint, I love the sculpt, I love everything about it. You probably also maybe see her if you are a fan like I am, you probably also saw how also she plays um, also in the Walking Dead Dead movies. She just had the braids on. I do have one of those figures. Um, at the moment in time, I don't know where that figure at. Maybe I will show you um, how that head sculpt look or also on that one. It's a much smaller figure, and I believe at that time period, um, Todd McFarlane was making those figures. But that's a totally different line, totally different figure. But, you know, but, but um, so here's a more a close in depth of the head sculpt right there. I really think it came out good. These nice little, I like how the tattoo came out. I don't know if you can really see that, but the tattoo came out pretty decently. Um, there's the back of the figure. No side. The, um, she does have the, uh, the bracelet on. It's somewhat of a floating piece, but not too much. Um, it, it doesn't. It's not going to really float too much. It, it, it's going to sit pretty flat. If you want to do your pose, and you're going, you will get your poses in. Um, and everything. Uh, so let's go to articulation real quickly. Um, we, like always, we start at the beginning. Um, the head does go left and right. You get good attitude. You get a little up and down. I wish you did get more on the up for posing more than anything else, uh, in my opinion. You do get an upper waist swivel. Um, 
forward race um, movement on the chest, back. You do get a little bit of gapping if you're going to do all the do posing. You doesn't. You don't get a low waist swivel. I wish you did. It's like some of the um, the female GI Joe figures you can get. You can't get the arms to go. This this piece right here is a soft piece, so it won't get in the way of uh, posing. You can get the arm go both up on both sides fairly decently. Right there, you do get a nice rotation all the way around. You do get double elbows. Uh, you do get a mo nice movement on the on the hands. Um, like I said, I wish you did have and change your hands. Maybe more like a fist hand or something like that. I don't know, a chopping hand, whatever. Um, you can get the legs to go out about that far on the splits. It probably can go on further, but this this piece right here is going to stop it. Um, maybe about that far forward also on the legs. A nice thigh rotation. Double knees. This piece is going to hinder a little bit right there. But if you finagle a little bit, you can get the knee to, the leg to go up a little further. You get nice movement in, on the, the foot and also a rocker. And you do have a peg hole also at the bottom. It's kind of weird that the peg hole more in the front. Most of the time, I'm going right. I might be wrong. No, I looked at the other figure. You notice here he on her that her peg hole is more at the back. Well, her peg hole. It's more in the front. That's a little, little bit uh, um, different for um, Marvel Legends, I think. I'm not really sure. Um, so all around, I think I, I really like this figure. Like I said, this is a figure I did play the waiting game on. I've been trying to get for her since the first movie. It is a, um, I, like I said, it can be a, um, a, 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 a army builder. That scene where people have did really um, good scenes from the first movie to army buildies. Um, I don't know if I will. I, if I do army builder, I know I would get maybe like one more. That's it. Especially if the if the price is where it's at and stay where it's at right now. So I hope you enjoy my review um, and everything. So thank you for watching. I am up to 451 subscribers at this moment in time as I'm talking to you. Huh? So thank you for my new subscribers. There's one or two people who have to jump on. So enjoy your collection. Have a good day, a good night, and I will shoot the breeze with y'all guys wherever it may be on. And don't buy no eggs out of Walmart. So be safe out there, enjoy your collection. The Highman is out, and thank you for watching. Have a good day.